Hello, people of the internet. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, a happy Sunday to all. Or if you're watching this at any other point in the week, hopefully you are having a great day. Nonetheless, I'm going to take a little bit of time out of a Sunday afternoon because I had plans today that kind of fell through because the weather's not terribly great today. So instead, we're going to check out some albums that I've been behind on. Um, this one, I'm very much excited on getting into because, well, we've partially started listening to this album. Of course, it's Mr. Kyungsu, Mr. Do Kyungsu's most recent release, the Blossom EP. We've covered the title track Mars, and we've done the pre-release Popcorn in MV form. And that leaves us with four other B-sides, fresh new B-sides to check out. So that's what we're going to do. Standard album listen procedures. I'm going to go through the album in order of the new songs. Of course, we spent time on Mars and Popcorn, respectively. So those videos are already on the channel. Uh, um, I might go ahead and even make a playlist just of Kyungsoo's stuff, just because I feel like we've covered enough content from him to warrant that now. Um, and, but I'll read over the song credits for those two as well once we come to those spots on the album. So whenever we do an album listen, we'll go through the song or album in order. I'll read off the song credits before every single song, because producers and the songwriters deserve their credit as well. And just do the usual, you know, talk about the song, yada, yada, yada. So let's get started, shall we? Here we go. Right, T.O. So this album starts with mars the title track so track number one would have gone here mars i think is a terrific song it's been one of my um, repeat repeats on the spotify's with good reason but track number one mars lyrics by pak taewon composition simon petren and peter elias ericsrud cure hold is that is that peter elias the um Hold on a second. Peter Elias. It is Peter Elias. Oh, shoot. He was, um, I know him from his feature on Busok Soon 7 p.m. from last year. Oh, that's really cool. And also might be the reason why that really nice chill groove is the way it is, because if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure 7 p.m. had Peter Elias on uh, composition as well, but and same on arrangements. So that's terrifically cool. I might have to tap in with his music then if it's that kind of groove like Seven Busok Sun 17 and Mars. Okay, very cool. Did not know that. But now we move on to our first new song from the album, track number two, Simple Joys, lyrics by Yi Suran. And then composition, Simon Petren and Peter Elias Eriksrud Kjorholt with Isle. And then arrangement, Simon Petren and Peter Elias on arrangements. Oh, I'm already excited. Okay, here we go. Peep the harmonies one time. What? Little fluke action? Wow, this is really cool. It almost feels natural sounding. I mean, the food definitely helps too, but... Yeah, it just feels so light, but so natural. Like, this is what I imagine the musical interpretation of, like, a meadow to be. You know, nice breeze rolling through, you get the bird sounds, 
You hear the trees rustling, the grass waving around, maybe some bees flying around with the flowers. And this perpetual harmony. As I say, it goes away, but you get my point. I always want more flute. I think that texture it has is gorgeous. It's so subtle, but it's, it makes it for me. And I guess we're kind of repeating this motif a, a few times now. Switch up the melody up top. And a bona fide outro to finish. No, that's really good. That's really, really good. It This type of music where it's simple and easy to listen to, but also especially once it goes into this natural direction, like there isn't really a good way to articulate that or to explain it. But if you've got kind of a creative mind and you can paint yourself a really clear mental image, this song paints nature landscapes to me and i'm a sucker for this type of music and kyungsu's voice is honestly really good for it like there's just something so soothing and calming about it while at the same time being able to do this really nice almost bird song like lightness to his voice that just fits so well for an instrumental like this and while it doesn't maybe have the bottom end as heavy as mars does it has that general like simple groove from mars that i really like it's got the gentle swells but you know exactly what part of the song you're in but with simple joys it's just they've taken that bass and bumped it into the mid-range and then with the instrumental having that having that flute in there is the perfect instrumental choice and i want more of it i want i want a whole bunch of wind instruments involved with this but on its own already is spectacular oh this is gonna be this is gonna be a fun album to listen to because we are technically three for three because next song would have been popcorn of course we've already done a video on it this one a little bit different direction than compared to mars but still equally a terrific song to listen to so track number three popcorn lyrics by yi sudan composition joe harvey and Jack Harvey, Ryan Bickley, and TMM with JXJ on arrangements, which now takes us to track number four, Good Night. Lyrics by Danke of La 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 Studios, I believe. Unless there's two Dunkas in the K-pop world. In that case, that'd be very awkward indeed. But uh, composition, Jordan Shaw, Sam Merrifield, and TMM with Sam Merrifield on arrangements. Really cool that you can hear the pedals actuating on the piano. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, really interesting. They've gotten rid of that natural, like, beachfront sound now. Yeah. 
Oh, that is a pretty dramatic addition of the instrumentals there. I thought maybe they wouldn't bring it in so heavy, but... Oh, we've got the white notes back again, too. This song's definitely in four. I thought for a second it might have been in three, but it's definitely in four. The little run he does on the downward descent there is so cool. I actually don't know if that was in four or three or not towards the end because it felt like he was maybe it's in four and he's using a bunch of triplets but oh i know i didn't say much through that but the thing is it doesn't really require a lot to be said for me good night especially that opening and a good chunk of the song has done what for me i would describe as the perfect emotional ballad or the raw emotional ballad to be specific i have always said and i've always maintained the thought that the most effective emotional ballad a musical artist can make is themselves as vocals and one acoustic instrument whether it's them playing or not it doesn't really matter having that acoustic instrument and the vocal artist together gives it the feeling for me as a listener that it is the artist on vocals producing everything there's no like background drums there's no bass there's no synthesizer there's no string section it's just one instrument and the performer that for me it, do it doesn't get any more true or raw than that so to have the song especially that entire first verse essentially be just kyungsu with that piano and that piano that's mixed so far forward into the mix to the point where you can hear that sustain pedal working inside the piano that is really cool to me and for me what really sold the kind of one instrument one vocal part was when you got that kind of white noise riser i think it was into the pre-chorus or maybe it was into the first chorus but instead of it being like a white noise riser how we would think about in the normal k-pop sense or in the normal pop song sense it was the removal of that background kind of beachside you know when like the waves gently roll up the beach it's like they slowly got rid of that sound and made the piano and the vocal more clearer and you know, like filter out the white noise background noise noise gated stuff like that and by getting rid of that background white noise it made the song clearer and by that gave it the effect that there was a riser because the song got a little bit clearer all of a sudden it, it barely changed all it did was it changed the mixing from this open sound to a lot more closed and tight-knit one that's all it did and it made the world a difference for as a listener for me wow this is really good all right let's keep her moving one time my dear track number five lyrics by pakarang of xyxx composition alex wilka jason strong armin paul ricky manning tmm with alex wilka and jason strong on arrangements where's my mouse there we go mm. 
약속할게요 그대 곁에 어떤 순간에도 Again, I approve of the acoustic instrument choice. It's, you can't replicate this digitally. Very subtle vocal stacking here. Not so subtle anymore. Full release, still one instrument, two vocals, and he's sitting up there, up there too. Get the little saucy ad libs in there too. No additional instruments. Nice. Love the call and response going on. Oof. I'm surprised at how long Kyung Soo is staying up there in that high, high range of his. Oh, that's very cool. And my dear, essentially, by definition, is that perfect emotional ballad. One instrument, one vocal. Sure, we got harmonies. I, I was about to say sporadically, but we got a good amount of harmonies throughout that song. But that that's essentially it. It's like, I don't know if Kyung Soo is proficient in guitar or not. Admittedly, I'm not actually very familiar with EXO full stop to begin with. They only got into them as a group, like, sat down and followed them properly in the last couple of years or so. But for me, like, when I listen to a song like this, all I imagine is you know, just a nice living room, nice couch, kyung sitting on the couch with a guitar just strumming away, singing. That's all it is. It's just a simple recipe that doesn't need to be changed. Vocal, instrument, that's it. Maybe some mixing in the little vocal, uh, background vocal or the ad-libs. But apart from that, it's, it's a super simple recipe that works. It's balanced. It, it, it emphasizes all the right parts. It doesn't overwhelm you at all. All you have to do is just sit back, relax, and let the music take you. It's like when you go, when you think about it in terms of like food, a ham and cheese sandwich, right? You have bread, ham, and cheese. Sure, you can level it up by, you know, spreading mayonnaise or getting some mustard involved, get some lettuce, some pickles, what, what have you. You know, you can add a whole bunch of like fillings in it and you can really kind of make it your own sandwich. But at the end of the day, the core elements, bread, ham, and cheese, Sometimes simple is the best. My dear is the exact representation of that for me. Simple is best sometimes. And that leaves us with track number six, the final song on the album About Time. Lyrics by Jung Dain of Artifact. Composition M Phases, Aiden Rodriguez, Chelsea Lena, and Matt Hansen with M Phases and Adrian or uh, Aiden Rodriguez on arrangements. Here we go. Sotun 
We're going, in, we're going in that minimal direction again. But I'm loving the little kind of... The like vocal echoes going in the background. I think that's really cool. Give it some beans one time, okay. I like that. Hold on. Really cool run. Hey, he's purposely enhancing the switch in his voice there. That's really cool. Really gentle swell, too. I thought that was going to keep going. Well, we're back down. Notice how the song almost like swells. It like pulses. Not just like the instrumental part, but his voice also flows along with that. Man. This pre-course, the way he just like throws it into the next gear. Really cool. Yeah, that little like cutoff he does in that run. I find that texturally really cool to listen to. that power just like reach boiling point there that was so cool oh and let a trail off wow wow that is a powerful way to end the album right there about time man and kind of going along the lines of that minimal is best in terms of the instrumental parts yeah very minimal but boy did they make the most use out of every little thing they could have done to it it's like you know if you want to add a little bit of swell in the instrumental oh you're gonna be made to feel it because kyungsu's vocals adds that extra little bit of oomph to it everything is done with a purpose and once you when you get a song like this that's a little bit almost like hopeful sounding it's not like a sad and depressing ballad it's got a little bit more of a brighter tone to it so to speak and yet it's got all of the emotional like power and just the emotional grasp on the listener that you know any sappy ballad could have had like if you compare about time to good night i think on paper they would be pretty similar just based off the fact that they're they're both ballads not very quick songs it's just key that about time is written in brighter key the way the dynamics within the songs are being like constantly manipulated dynamics being like the volume level so if we're talking about music theory like Piano and pianissimo is like quiet, quiet. Forte and fortissimo is loud, loud. The difference between the quiet and the loud in About Time is a lot more drastic than in, say, Good Night or even My Dear. So it becomes more pronounced. 
but it's not just the song by itself that's doing it it's the combination of the instrumental and the vocal having that drastic max min difference that makes the effect so much more powerful especially when kyungsu gets into that kind of strained powerful voice you feel that as the listener and as a big advocate of the ballad genre he's kind of blown it out of the park with this one this is tremendous he really has just like on this album showcased his masterclass in the minimal is best direction of music this is not easy to do there are ballads out there done by extremely talented artists where it is just super involved very busy very dramatic and that i absolutely adore but there are also ballads like essentially the entire second half of the Blossom EP, where there aren't too many moving pieces involved. But the quality or like the emotional value isn't lost because there's less moving parts. For me, this album is a masterclass. The fact that you get this spectacular opening couple songs, you know, like, if you want to treat Popcorn as like a secondary title track, the double title track one-two hit of Mars and Popcorn, and then throw in Simple Joys in there as well, you get this like really smooth groove of a first half of the album. And then, you know, once you reach the tail end of the album, on a pop album typically, you kind of start hitting them with the ballads, the slower stuff. But when you have the lead half of the album be not so fast and in your face like the songs from like Mars, Simple Joys, and Popcorn, you really have to do something pretty drastic to be able to pull off that ballad finish, so to speak, right? Good Night and My Dear really takes that dramatic thing to heart by getting rid of like 80% of the song and having the core components left to do their thing. And once you're like all emotionally in your feels, they give you the finale that is about time and they just hit you with everything. It's still a minimal song, but they've taken all the little like producing components and just really made it sparkle in a different way. And I think because of it, About Time has to take my B-side of the album for me. Although as like an album as a whole, Mars is really hard to beat because Mars is tremendously good. So yeah, I think in terms of overall thoughts on the album, it's spectacular. It's going to rank highly at the end of the year, no doubt about it. Um, if I, I my one pick, I think is still Mars, but in terms of B sides, about time, about time is going to take the crown for me. But that is going to be it with Dio's Blossom EP and the releases around it. Thank you all for listening along with me. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. One last request from me today. Let us work together as a community to bring a little bit of extra happiness back into the world. Whether it be you know, checking with your friends and family, holding the door open for somebody, or even picking up a piece of trash off the street. Just one small act of kindness that may brighten up someone else's day to day. And know that wherever you are in the world, should you ever be going through a tough time in your life, for whatever reason it may be. Even though I'm just some guy on the internet who waffles about music in his free time. Know that I will always be a friend, an ally, and a shoulder to lean on whenever you need me. So take care of yourselves, take care of each other, spread the love, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.